review today. So today we're gonna to review these never stick, or are they never stick, frying pans from Scoville. That's the, uh, the model brand. You can see these are quite worn. I've got two of them, they're about the same size. So here is the brand, Scoville. It's probably a better shot. Scoville, never stick, super strong, non-stick, five times stronger than other non-stick. So I bought these in the sales quite a few years ago. I think I paid about $12 for them, so they were pretty good value. I think they were about half price at the time. They looked a lot better condition than they do now. Um, so they have had quite a lot of normal home use. Um, this kind of stone look, if you look at the edges, that's kind of basically the texture that they sort of come in. And then over the time, they've sort of obviously worn away with um, use and washing as well. So we're going to give a bit of a review of these and uh, tell you whether I think they're worth buying. Build quality, they're actually pretty decent. I mean, they're not 100%. You can see this one's coming loose, but the handle... There's no play there, that's kind of the key thing. So when you're lifting heavy, heavy objects, is it gonna sort of come away in your hands? There's none of that. You've got a little um, hanging hook there. That's quite useful. Quite like the, the base of them, looks quite high tech. Don't know what these little um, things are. Maybe they're sort of heat indu inductions, heat inducers, I don't know. Um, overall decent build quality. So when I actually got these, and started using them they were fantastic they were really really good this non-stick was, 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 was great and then over the years over the time um probably six months to a year maybe a year and a bit then things started sticking to them and you can see now they've discolored quite a lot which is fine for a frying pan but this uh texture this kind of stone texture seems to be surface so not all the way through and you can see on the edges where the uh, the silver's kind of come through so I've probably got about a year and a half worth of good use out of them. They are called Never Stick. I think it's probably more appropriate to call them Eventually Stick. So would I buy these again? Probably not. I'd get a, I'd pay more money. I mean, these were for twelve dollars. For twelve dollars, they're fantastic. If you're if you're a student, uh, you're not going to be in in a place for very long. Uh, I would, I would, I would totally buy these. If you want something that's going to last a long time, I would probably go for a more expensive brand like something. a Tefal. It's about twice the price, so probably actually the same price as these when they're new. Or I would buy uh, a La Creuset, which is uh, several times more expensive. I think they're sort of like a hundred dollars, but um, they're supposed to sort of laugh, last a long time, last a lifetime even. So um, with good care, obviously. But for twelve dollars, recommended buy. How long do you want them to last? That's really the question you want to ask and how long do you want to go and buy, buy another set? So never stick, eventually stick. Decent build quality, got good use out of them, but time for them to go. Hope that's useful.